Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the game that just ended between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. It was a great game. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am your host, Luca. And before we get started with the video, please guys, hit that subscribe uh, button and also hit that notification bell and also that thumbs up like button and share this video with everyone and anyone that you know. Thank you so much for the support and let's get started. So Wildcard Weekend continued again and the Buffalo Bills defeated the Miami Dolphins 34 to 31. Now that game was closer than most people thought. Um, the Dolphins, I mean, the Bills were getting, uh, were giving up, excuse me, the Bills were giving up 13 and a half points. Um, Vegas thought that this game was going to be out of hand. They thought that this game was be a blowout. And rightly so. Uh, the Dolphins didn't have their star quarterback, uh, Tua Tungvaloa. Uh, Raheem Mostert, the running back, didn't play. Tyreek Hill wasn't 100%. And everything was just not going right for the Dolphins. I mean, they started off the season very strong. Uh, Tua was in the MVP discussion. Josh Mc, uh, uh, Mike McDaniel, excuse me, I always mix them up. Mike McDaniel, the coach for the Dolphins, was coaching his tail off. And they were going in the right trajectory um, into the playoffs. But, you know, injuries happened and they just uh, crumbled down the way. And I, I feel sorry for them. I mean, they had a good season early on and things just didn't go their way, especially with losing their quarterback to Wintagavaloa. So with all that happening, everybody really thought that the that the Bills were going to go in there and just run rough shot on them and just literally destroy the Dolphins. But the Dolphins had other plans. You know, they they knew that they were playing with house money. If they lose, if they get blown out, no one was going to say anything about it because really, I mean, they have they really have a, a good excuse. They really do. They don't have their uh, quarterback, running back was missing. I wasn't playing. Tyreek was hurt. I mean, things was just not going right for them. So if they were to be blown out, they had an excuse. So they were playing with house money. They were playing free. And Skylar Thompson, the rookie quarterback, I mean, he didn't have the best game, but he, again, he didn't seem like he was rattled. A lot of the throws he was doing in the, in the first quarter, in the first half, all the receivers, they were dropping balls. I mean, he was throwing in dimes and receivers were just dropping them and dropping them. But they got their nerves in, uh, settled down, and then the game became more competitive and it was it came down all the way to the wire. And the Buffalo Bills finally won 34 to 31. So I would like to give my congratulations to the Miami Dolphins for having a great season, for doing something that, you know, I, I didn't think was going to happen. I didn't know if Tua was like that. I didn't know who Mike McDaniel was, if, if he was really a good head coach. I mean, I know he was a, a good coordinator with the 49ers, but I don't know what kind of head coach he was. And I think he proved himself well and that he is a good head coach. And Tua Tagovailoa, I made a video about it, um, and I'll put the link down below. So I don't know what his future is. That's something that he has going to have to discuss with him and his family and the Dolphins organization. But anyway, congratulations to the Dolphin for making a playoff run. Now, on to the Bills. Um... I don't know what to make about the Buffalo Bills. I mean, one minute when they're playing out of their mind and when they're clicking all cylinders, I look at them and I'm like, you know what? This is a juggernaut. This team cannot be beaten. And then other times they're making mistakes, 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 and mistakes. And I don't know. It's like, it's like there's two Buffalo Bills. There's a Buffalo Bills that makes no mistakes that they can beat anyone. And I literally mean anyone. No one can stand up for them. And then there's the Buffalo Bills who just shoot themselves in the foot all the time. Now, you don't know which one you're going to get when you're in the playoffs. Now, you know, they eked out this win. I mean, this, this was a close game. The Dolphins had a chance. They had a real opportunity to win this game. And, you know, and, 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 and if, they had, if they had won this game, it would have been a major, major upset. But they eked out a win, and they are moving on to the divisional round. Now, the reason why I'm hard on the Bills is because the expectations for the Buffalo Bills is not to make it out of the divisional round. It's not to win a wild card game. It's not even to win an AFC championship. AFC championship. The expectations for the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen is to win a Super Bowl. That's what their expectation is. I mean, it's, a, it's either Super Bowl or bust. They're not one of these teams who's rebuilding, who's tr just trying to make it into the, into the playoffs. No, 
they want to make a deep run and they want to host that Lombardi trophy at the end of the year. So that's why I'm kind of hard on them, you know, because for them to make that run and for them to succeed, they have to clean a lot of things up. The turnovers have to come down, you know, and, and they have to be disciplined and they have to play a consistent game from one quarter or from the first quarter all the way to the fourth quarter because... You know, they, in the next round, they might play the Bengals. And after that, they might play the uh, the Chiefs. And these teams, like, you make a mistake on these boys, and they're going to come after you. You know, like, Joe Burrow will make you pay. Patrick Mahomes will make you pay if you make a mistake. I mean, like I said, the Dolphins almost won this game. That's how close it was. It wasn't like a fluke. No, the Dolphins legitimately had a chance to win this game. And it just so happened that the, uh, the Bills eked out a win so if i am a bills fan if i'm a bills fan and i love josh allen i'm a huge 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 josh allen fan i like him as a person um he he he, he carries himself very well he's very professional you don't hear anything about him outside um he's also fantastic in the field i mean i've never seen a rocket arm like that this man has a bazooka in his right arm and you know he's he's just full of talent and i'm a huge fan of him and i really want him to succeed but i think that for the bills to succeed and for the bills to make that deep deep run they have to clean that up man they have to clean it up because there's no more room for mistakes in the next come in the upcoming rounds the the teams that they're going to be playing it's going to be it's going to be hard and they're going to have to make sure that they play a consistent game from the first quarter all the way to the fourth quarter but anyway, doesn't matter now. The game is over. They can go and check the un and check the tape, and they can move on from that. So again, congratulations to the Buffalo Bills for making it over to the divisional round. They might either play the um, the Bengals or the Jaguars. Those are the two teams that they'll play, depending on what happened between the Bengals and the Ravens uh, on Sunday Night Football. So anyway, guys, that's my quick video. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.